Hey, how's it going? I wanted to make this short video to explain an alternate method to sound routing that I see a lot of, especially newer streamers using. And it's something that I figured out um, and I think it would be helpful to a lot of people. So uh, a lot of people, you probably already heard of voice meter, uh, banana and potato, I think are the two different versions. And I believe both of those are free but they're very complicated software and there's a lot of tutorials out there explaining how to use those two different versions of software. However, there is a free version of it as well and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So this is VB Audio. So VB Audio is the same people that make both Voice Meter and Banana, but they also make something called Virtual Audio Cable. And Virtual Audio Cable is essentially a clone to a Windows audio driver. It's a virtual audio driver that allows you to route extra things through Windows Sound and it integrates right into Windows 10 and I believe it works with 7 as well. Um, so actually integrates really easily and uh, it makes things a lot simpler and it's not heavy on your resources adding just another thing to eat up RAM and everything else while you're trying to run OBS and stream and everything. Um, so basically you're going to want to go to vbaudio.com. It's the same place that you get voice meter, uh, banana and potato right there. Uh, and all you do is download the respective version for if you're on Mac or windows. And then as it says right here, you're going to extract all the files and run it in administrator mode and then reboot because you are installing a new driver into windows. Now this one is free. They give you one. And then if you want more than one, uh, which you do have to pay for additional versions. You pay once and you have it forever. Um, and they are a European company, so you pay in euros, but it ends up being about $6 for A and B and C and D. And that's four extra ones. You get to route something through A, something through B, something through C, and something through D if you buy those two different packages. Um, I believe I bought all four of them, but uh, most people won't need more than two or even three. And you get one for free and then you can have a and b as separate ones so once you download and install that if you go down to your windows uh audio right click in and click on sounds that is going to bring up this window here and you're going to go to the playback window uh playback tab so once you're on the playback tab your default audio is probably set to your speakers or your headset or whatever it is that you're primarily routing your audio through. Uh, and you're gonna see an additional one. Now see, I have A and B, uh, but you, you'll have, if you just downloaded the free version there, you'll just have a, an additional one now that says cable input. What you'll wanna do is make that your default device. So if you right click that and click set as default device, which it already is for me. And then you can set it as default communications as well. Now on your recording tab, you'll see an extra option there too. See, I have the A and B here as well, but you also have cable output. Go to the output, right click and click on properties. Then on the listen tab, you're gonna click listen to this device and play through this device and then you should have all of your audio devices there. That's where you're gonna put your headset if you wanna listen, whatever you wanna hear your sound through that comes through that, put it as that. So speakers in there for me, headsets in there. So when I'm streaming, typically I'll have my headset on, right? So I wanna hear the, all the sounds through the headset. So it's routing through there. Now the idea behind this is that you're, you're allowing your audio to come through something that's separate from your, your default devices so that when you're using OBS and stuff that you can control where it comes through and it doesn't just default to desktop audio. So you can control it separately so that now you have multiple inputs and, and I'll show you further into that. So you set your listen device, click OK, and now when you have your headset on, anything that you route to the cable output is going to come through your headset. Okay, so next we're going to go to OBS and I'm going to show you how to change the settings there. So you go to OBS, you go to file and you go to settings, right? Then you're going to go down to the audio tab 
And this is where you'll see that I've got A and B set up as well, right? So your desktop audio is now gonna be on cable input. So that's where it's gonna default route that to. You're gonna listen to it on your headset or your speakers respectively. And then it's gonna route all your desktop audio through the cable input so that it's not just routing everything to your headset so that you can have things playing. Essentially what this allows you to do with just one is you can have things play on your headset that your stream won't hear, that, that OBS won't know exists. But if you want more versatility with it, and like I said, you only pay once for the A and the B and or the C and the D, um, it allows you a lot of extra things and you don't need a hardware device like a Go XLR or anything. All that stuff's very expensive and unavailable right now anyway. So if you have A and B, see I have my mic set to my, my stream mic through my audio interface, but then I can set separate audio devices to A output and B output. Now, if you have the A and the B or the C and the D, um, you're gonna wanna do the listen setting just like I did on the other one. If you go back previously in the video, basically you're gonna go to the recording end of that, right click it and listen on your headset or your speakers, whatever you wanna hear it on your default audio device. That way you hear everything that plays through there, but your, your OBS, your stream for whatever, will see it as separate audio devices. So now you can route things like your game. A lot of games allow you to choose uh, which one it's gonna route to. You can route it just to that. What I use it for is I use it for Discord audio and then like music player audio. So it'll, everything plays on the stream, everyone can hear the Discord audio and everything, but it'll mute separately. And then when I'm recording, I can even have it set up so that those are separate channels and I can cut those out as needed if I'm gonna edit a recording later or edit a stream later even if I'm recording it. So that's pretty much all there is to VB audio cable. Like I said, it's a lot simpler. It integrates directly into Windows. Um, it does not, it's not another program that you have to run to weigh down resources and everything else when you're already trying to run a game and OBS and everything else. So I hope I could make your streaming experience just a little bit easier. And if you have any questions about this or about anything else I've learned while streaming, I stream every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday night on Twitch. Link in the video description. Good luck on your stream.